I'm pretty sure that if you clicked on this video, you are familiar with the MGTOW philosophy and even embrace it. Contrary to popular and mainstream belief, MGTOWs are not involuntary celibates, incels for short, and just go their own way because their experiences and those of other men have pushed them to realize that dating is not worth it for now. Back in the day, loyalty, honesty, and other human virtues were admired, whereas now, as you might have guessed, many just want to be approved and fit in. These individuals, or NPCs to be more specific, just do as they're told and follow someone else's lead. They believe every lie that society tries to feed them and happily accept it because it's supposedly for their own good. A very clear example is getting married and even dating. When you are at a family gathering, chances are some relative asks you where your girlfriend is and you just feel they're stupid for asking that matrix-like question. When you say you love your single man lifestyle, they usually get surprised because you think differently. Congratulations, you already stand out, and if they insist a lot on knowing why you made your choice, in this video you will find all the answers you need. Stay tuned because these are the only reasons you'll lay them out to shut their mouth. But before we go deeper, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Eric Yucatan, he said, I was a real estate broker and before going commercial, I specialized in residential for about 7 years and there did come a time when I sold married couples their first house and then sold that same house for divorce. It became so common that I had to fake it, saying enthusiastically how wonderful this new house will be when under my breath I was mumbling, suckers. It was all about the commission by then. Eric, you're absolutely right. I completely understand what you share and honestly, it shows how much some industries profit from marriages and divorces such as real estate, divorce lawyers, and even wedding businesses. Let that stand as a shrewd warning of the consequences of marriage and the statistics involved. Please Eric, don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I will pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Now, back to the video. If you could, I know you would just tell them to leave you alone and annoy someone else. But let's be real. People love imposing their beliefs and want you to think the way they do. That's just how life is. So you could tell them to stop or you could elegantly prove your point politely so they at least understand your point of view. Personally, as a MGTO, I'm into not imposing my beliefs and I'm all in for freedom as long as it does not hurt anyone. It's as simple as that, yet modern women don't seem to get it. Not your problem, not my problem, just their problem. If you are a MGTO, I'm sure you will understand what I'm about to say. Otherwise, I'm sure that if you have a bit of common sense, which is not that common, to be honest, this will resonate with you. After a few relationships in which I dealt with entitled women, I came back to the MGTO philosophy and quickly reaped the benefits. For instance, I don't have to explain what I do and I have a lot of room for introspection. That leads to monk mode and eventually fulfilling the masculine imperative, aka building things. Yes, modern times might say that women can easily have good jobs in the army, the firemen, and the police. Modern times might also declare that women should study more STEM degrees to beat the oppressive social constructs that keep women enslaved. And yes, modern times might say that men should be more emotional and cry when they need to. All this sounds good, yet the consequences are disastrous. If you're a man, hold on. I'm not telling you to be a robot but I do support the idea that you must know yourself and not be controlled by your emotions. I hope that makes sense. If men have no emotional intelligence, they become more manipulatable, docile, and dangerous to society. On the other hand, women subscribe to the idea that they can study degrees they don't like and do jobs they don't like either. You might have more GDP, more tax money, and more so-called independent women. However, the reality is that in the USA, the saddest demographic is women over 40. Our world has been turned upside down and there's a whole lot of confusion. Given this seemingly unhopeful situation, it's natural that men sympathize with MGTOW because, to be honest, women tend to treat men horribly, which should be something to talk about. I've been in three relationships myself and with each of these, I approached it from a long-term perspective while the other approached it from a short-term perspective. 
Yes, despite being a gentleman, it seemed that I was used as a short-term object, therapist, or psychologist. In the way things are now, everybody thinks that the relationships aren't going to last, even when they could easily. Trust issues, daddy issues, dysfunctional families, and many more negative circumstances and behaviors are way too common. People get bored easily, and they start thinking about the next person. In particular, modern women tend to subscribe to the idea that sleeping around is great and having children is disgusting. So they end up riding many guys, but connecting with no one. Some women might even end up with me, which then increases their confidence so that they can end up with someone else because they think they can get someone better. Interestingly, months or years later, these same women came back to me out of the blue. But, of course, I politely reject them because I learned to respect myself. And let me tell you that feeling is way more pleasant than being inside a woman. It's a bittersweet feeling because I don't like how I've been treated as a proving ground, training program, or a theme park ride. Yes, you know what kind of ride I mean. I don't like how I've been lied to by people with whom I've invested a lot of time and effort, who've disregarded my personal feelings and mental health because of their preconceptions that I wasn't being serious when I said I was thinking long term. It seems that I'm too old fashioned for these ultra modern times. I especially don't like society's expectations of me. I'm supposed to be promiscuous and have fun in my 20s, not try to have a lasting and healthy relationship with another woman. Sorry for sounding too cheesy, but I feel sad when I compare this degeneracy with how much my grandparents love each other and tell me how much things have changed in the last few decades. The way things are supposed to be in the dating marketplace in modern times sounds honestly miserable and disgusting. Having pointless flings in your 20s, increase your body count and get it through the roof, especially women are encouraged to do this. Then get married in your 30s after you've either made your money, if you're a man, or before you run out of attractiveness as a woman. Do people not realize that if you get married and have kids in your 20s, you're not a complete failure? If you want to be that CEO, astronaut, famous actor, or whatever, you can do it when you're married too, although the difficulties it may imply. I get why a lot of people embrace the idea of MGTO. There's a lack of trust and loyalty. The modern movement still fail to account for the culture idea of males providing for females, so dating is still more expensive for men than for women. Women are praised and glorified for working while men are expected to work or look down on for the type of job they have. Women expect from men more than ever, but they're also giving much less. On the other hand, although men tend to ask for loyalty and are not so demanding, they can hardly get that from modern women. When women expect men to be polite, to be equal, to be fair, but you also expect men to be perfect, to be providers and to be strong, but you're not doing anything on your end to make a marriage or a relationship worthwhile, then what's the point? And that's why more men are choosing to go their own way. The deal's been soured. The juice is not worth the squeeze. So for the time being, I'm out and feeling better outside of all the degeneracy and stupidity. No matter what you choose as a man, I hope you got some value out of this video. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now, it's your turn. What do you think? What made you embrace this philosophy? What are your thoughts on the current state of the world? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.